<laughs> I was like, oh no, I've got to be on camera. <laughs> I'm Andy Bush, front of house engineer for Lewis Capaldi, and we are at Wembley Arena for the second of Lewis Capaldi's sold out shows. Typically, I'd encounter DPA in a, in a classical or a jazz setting um, where the, the source is quieter, but there's a, a high attention to detail, clarity and accuracy. So I hadn't really encountered them in a rock or pop environment, but I had used them on, uh, say, live grand piano, cello, double bass, acoustic guitar, things like that. Uh, Lewis is currently using the new uh, 2028. It just makes Lewis's voice sound very natural. There's no artificial uh, presence peaks. There's very little proximity effect. Um, so I feel that my end result is far superior. Well, I had the opportunity at the start of this album campaign to try some DPA mics on the kit. Um, so we tried them for, I think, a, a, some pre-production and a run of five shows, and they've stayed on the kit ever since. Okay, so first up on snare top, on Freddy's main snare, we've got a 2011C, and underneath we have the 4018C, super cardioid. Cardioid on top, super cardioid underneath. On snare two, We've got another 2011 on top and a 4099 Extreme SPL on the bottom. We need the Extreme SPL because Freddy's such a heavy hitter. And on top of the hats here, we've got another 4018 Super Cardioid, just to try and keep everything narrow and focused in on the one spot where, where Freddy typically plays the hats. Um, on the toms, all the tom mics are 4099 Extreme SPL on the two floor toms there. Same mics. As spot mics underneath the two crashes, we've got more 2011s and cardioid. And on the ride, it's another super cardioid 4018. To finish things off, Little sprinkle of fairy dust on top. We've got a stereo pair of 4011 E's, which for me have made a massive difference to the drum sound. Um, and they've just really opened up the kit. It's got way more shine, sparkle, the stereo image is wider. Um, yeah, and it's just given it a bit, a bit of polish that it possibly didn't have before that. I was talking about clarity and accuracy. Um, as you can see, there's very little in the way of EQ on all the close mics. And so that's main snare top, main snare bottom, main snare top, main snare bottom, uh, tom one, tom two and tom three. Just really deploying the high pass filters more than anything else really. Uh, but the overheads and underheads, I do take the high pass filter up quite high with those just to get rid of uh, room, unwanted room sounds really more than anything. But I use them pretty high in the mix because the mics are so flat in terms of frequency response and articulate. I don't need to process channels as much. Uh, I don't need to to, to cut nearly as, as much in terms of EQ. And um, I, I feel that it just offers a, a more accurate representation of what's actually happening on stage.